Hi, I'm Vincent with Panoramic Studios, and we're here at Panoramic Studios to show you a camera track and dolly we built over the past two days. So right now, on the, on the track, the basic track of the track is a 30 foot long PVC pipe track. I keep saying track. It's 10 foot segments that are connected by wooden dowels on the inside here. And it's fully removable, and you can put it in segments, you can attach it. So at the ends here, we have PVC uh, ends. I don't know what these are called. Rob, what are these called? They're uh, PVC fittings. PVC fittings. And at the end, they, they come at, uh, you know, they're, you get the idea. So they basically end the track off. Now come down to the other side. Here. It's basically the same thing. So this is 30 foot long straight. You can do tracking shots, you can do vertigo shots, you can do pans and zooms and all kinds of crazy cool stuff with a nice track. The dolly itself, it's got a tripod connected to it at the moment, consists, you know, there we go. So there's the bungee that you use to secure your tripod. Yes. So down here on the bottom, you have these little L brackets and they're steel. Angle iron. Yeah, they're ang called. angle iron, apparently, but it's steel, it's not iron. Um, and skateboard wheels. And skateboard wheels come from really cheap, crummy Walmart skateboards that you get for like 20 bucks each. We got two of them. 10 bucks each, 20 for, 20 for two. Really? Okay. So, so um, you have bolts and nuts and washers. And the washers are used so that the wheels can spin freely along, you know, when they're bolted in. And there's two of them, and they go at about 90 degree angles on each side so that you lay it down and it grips with, the track with like a two foot wooden board, three foot wooden board I don't know how big this is square but you lay it down on the track like this and I'm going to show them how it rolls along <coughs> so, and you get to the end so you can, the nice thing about this track is that you can constantly add more PVC if you want and the PVC can actually bend a little bit, so if you want to take a little tiny curve, you can do it, but you can't go too far because these wheels don't turn at all. So Now in the middle here, we have, um, this is a very strong bungee cord actually. An extremely strong bungee cord with, um, my mind's drawing a blank because I can't remember. Because with the hooks. What are these called? They're uh, like climbing hooks. No, there's something else. Uh, carabiners. Carabiner clips. So we have an eye thing on the jigger here. It's got a little eye in it. Eye screw, screw with an eye. <laughs> um, and we just put that right through the middle of the board. And we have this bungee cord with carabiner clips on both sides. So it connects to the eye there. And if you have a hook on the center of your tripod, you can connect this right to the middle of the tripod like that. And it'll just hold the tripod square down to the board. So let's show you how we connect the two the tripod to the board. And you can also ride on your own. Can't put too much weight on it though, because you'll crack the board. And all of this, might I add, was only built for around 100 bucks. So you cheap. might be able to find some cheaper materials. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but we went pretty cheap on this one. So. So it connects to the eye needle. Alright, so, yeah. Eye sc screw. Just like that. Connects right on like that. So then your tripod won't move around when you uh, when you move it. Alright, so that's our little demonstration. Now let's show you some vertigo shots and some uh, tracking shots. <laughs> 